Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on using Iron OCR as an alternative to Tesseract in C Sharp. So for this tutorial I've created two .NET C Sharp console projects, one for Tesseract and the other for Iron OCR. And for this project we'll be using the Tesseract library. So let's get started. Install the Tesseract library by going to the tools menu and then clicking on the NuGet package manager from the drop down and selecting manage NuGet packages for solution. We'll go to the browser and we'll search for uh, tesseract.net SDK. Wait for the search results and select the tesseract.net SDK from the search results. Click on the checkbox, click on the install button, and after installation, we'll go to the install tab and you'll see the installed library right there. So now close the NuGet tab and go to the program CS. And here I'll write the code for the Tesseract OCR. So I've written the code. Here I import the patagames.ocr for using Tesseract in our project. After that, I use the using statement and I created the API variable using OCR API.create. Now, after that, I define the OCR language as English, and you can define any language supported by Tesseract. And after that, I created a string variable plain text and use the get text from image function in the parameter, and then I give the path of the image. So for this, I will use this image for doing OCR, and it will test the OCR capability as a tesseract with blurred images. So after that, we'll print the plain text variable value on the console, and this will show the text extracted from the images on the console. Now let's run the project. So this is the text extracted by Tesseract from the image, and it makes no sense at all. Let's compare it to the image. So this is the image used, and compared to the text, and nothing matches the image at all. So we'll stop the project, clicking on the red stop button, and now I'll use Iron OCR library in my next project. So in this project, we'll use the Iron OCR library. So install the Iron OCR library by going to Tools, click on the NuGet package manager from the drop down, and select Manage NuGet Packager for Solution. Go to the Browse tab, and we'll write Iron OCR and hit Enter and select the Iron OCR from the search results and select the checkbox and click on install and after the installation, installation go to the install tab and you'll see the install library right there so close the NuGet tab and go to the program CS file and I'll write the code for using Iron OCR so this is the code for Iron OCR and I'll import the Iron OCR library and use it in this code file after that, I create a variable of OCR using the Iron Tesseract function. And then after that, I use the add image function in that parameter. And I gave the same image as you can see that we use with Tesseract. So the denoise function will remove the blur from the image and make it clear. The deskew function will rotate the image and correct it uh, if needed. And I use the read function to extract the text from the input image and in store that text in the result variable. And then I show the result on the console using the write function. So now let's run the project and wait for the output. So the text has been extracted from the image and it's showing on the console. It's very well defined. Every word is complete. There are no breaks between the words. Uh, the output is completely the same as the image, as you can see. And Iron OCR very perfectly denoises the image and reads the clear text and gives the perfect output. Overall, the result of Iron OCR is far better than Tesseract, and it is recommended to use the Iron OCR for perfect results. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope it has been useful. And as always, if you'd like to know more, our support team is standing by ready to assist.